Hello, this is Mike with Real World Repair, and I'm trying to show you uh, how to solve these uh, couple problems with quad or other vehicles that use cables. Um, you can have them freeze up on you, or just binding and so forth. This device right here, is, it's actually not a device, it's a tool. And I call it a cable oiler. I don't know what the technical term is. I think it was purchased at Snap-on Dealer. I think my brother picked it up on, off the Snap-on guy. I'm not positive, but um, anyway, it's got a, a way to seal the cable, um, the outer cable uh, housing. I'm not sure what it's called, but um, that the cable rides in for your throttle cables. Basically, you have. Uh, and I did it here at the, the adjustment, um, which is also the idle set adjustment for the kill on these. Um, you can see that switch there. If it goes together, this thing dies. And what happens is a lot of people's uh, cables stretch a little bit or something, and then it'll go back and kill all the time. And what that's for is so that if the throttle sticks in the carburetor or the cable, then this mechanism will, as soon as you let off on the throttle thumb switch, shorts out and kills the ignition. So um, the motor's gonna die even though it's wide open. But anyway, to solve that, you adjust it here. And you just take the take the play out of the cable and then you go a little more so that these switches are open. You gotta have a little bit of a gap. It's still moving here, you can see. But it's not going together. It'll go together if I, if I turn this in and take, and then your motor stops. And what happens is, see how it, it's going together. Well, the cable stretched. Now you can't, it won't idle. See, if I turn it out, it idles. Switches are apart. Now let's go ahead and uh, turn this in. You go out too far, you're going to raise your idle. See that? Now the idle adjustment isn't here. There's a set screw on the carburetor for the idle speed, which should be about a thousand on this quad. But anyway, you turn it in until it quits. Okay, now my cable stretched. I have a brand new quad. My cable stretched and it kills. Okay, that's where I was at. Well, the thing wouldn't idle ever, and that's a pain in the butt. You can't let it warm up. You can't let it idle at all. You jump off for a second. You know, every time you move, you switch riders, it kills. Now you adjust this out until, you know, a little bit, to you get a little bit of a gap in here. This cover pops off, by the way. So there's some little places of stick screwdriver and you pop that right off. Um, where's my cover at? Probably near those gloves. Nice workbench here. No, fell on the floor over here. Um, anyhow, this is the cover, snaps right off the top of here. I just put a screwdriver under each one of them and just snapped it loose there. Um, in any case, to get to this, now we've got a lot of, you know, a lot of gap there. I want to turn it down until it's close. And then, basically I'm going to take this apart first though. So. Uh, I had the cable all apart, and I took it out of here. Let's see here. You know what? <clears throat> Anyhow, to access the cable, you can snap this out, turn it to the right, and it unhooks this, snaps this out. Allows this to be taken out, which I can't do. Yeah, okay, it comes right out. Now, and then you go ahead and undo this, which there's a little tab that holds the cable underneath it right here. Pull it outward, and then up, and it'll pop right out of there. Then you'll have something like this. Let's take this. Oops. I get a hold of the cable there. I'm looking through the camera. You find your so obviously I can't see anything. That's weird. Oh. It popped out. 
I pull this whole thing out. It's easier if you don't have it all the way out like I just did, but you know, if you're closer to where your adjustment is, take this apart first. Then you, you take this thing and you clamp it on there as a groove down the middle, a slot. That, that boot inside there is all enclosed with the exception of the slot going to the end and it goes right into the halfway into the center here. So that your cable, the, th the uh, stranded braided cable in the center, the actual cable, you gotta stick into that slot and you put the uh, outer you know you may have a different kind of end on it but it doesn't matter on di different cables but then you slide this thing basically on there and that's hard to do because I can't hold the camera and use one hand I could do it with one hand here somehow pull it out get the tip of this in there Oops. <laughs> into the slot see that's in the slot once you get that in there then you could just go ahead and push this through <laughs> one-handed good way to do it well first you got to loosen this up I'm sorry you loosen this up and you can see there should be a gap in that uh, see a V at the end that's where your cable will be going so you should be able to just get this right on there now. We had a little difficulty before because we didn't have it up loose. But you snap that down into that little groove. Push it on. <laughs> I wish I could have someone hold this camera. <laughs> this is a pain in the butt. That's the real world though. A lot easier if you do it without a camera and all that bullsh bull malarkey. But anyway, you get to the center cable down inside there. You get the outside down, it's inside that little V. So that what happens is this slides up onto there. As long as it don't go through, there's where your oil goes in. They have these little pegs that hold the rubber boot. Well, one of them has a hole in it, and it is sealed, by the way, to the internal uh, cavity. So you have to push the little rubber uh, oiling extension that's on your uh, WD-40 or whatever you're going to use to lube it. And it works real good. I used some breakaway with it. Um, anyway, you tighten these down to seal it. And it's, what it does is it allows you to spray oil in here and it forces it into the cable system. Once this is tight because it's, you know, a rubber seal, it kind of clamps around the, uh, house, the cable housing and the cable. You know, there's no hole there. It's just a seal. So once you tighten this down, you have a pretty good uh, way to force your lubricant through the whole cable. And better done if the cable's not hooked to anything. But I undid the boot on the other end so it would have a way to get air out of it and, and so forth. Um, you can see down in there, right to the right, left of this, right in this area. I took the boot off and so forth so I could see and hear air. Uh, another device I use is my brother's a transmission repair guy. And he's got these little rubber boots that go on the tip of the air. That's a Mac Tools. Um, that's a nice device. You can pop that end on and off and just have air without the rubber or you can Use that rubber tip and force it air and to you know air seal it and So you can force air through listen and hear it come through um, and then force your uh, I actually dumped and Pushed forced it with the air. I dumped dry gas in it and so forth if there was any moisture because I'm, I'm tired of this problem So clean your cable make sure your cables dry if you're having a um cable freeze up issue um, if it's a new cable just oil the cable before you put it together um, you should have no problems after that um, and that's boy it's gonna be nice having an idle we fixed the idle and it doesn't freeze up <laughs> you know it's a pain in the butt because you can't dry you know you can't use it this quite at all in the winter so um, now we're gonna be good to go so just hope that uh, somebody can get some use out of that